Hello everyone! We ordered a mushroom growing kit from Shopee and here it is now! It arrives after I think around one week from the day that I ordered it. So for me it's good because it's not really that long. I really like how they packed the mushroom because as you can see they packed it securely. I'm really excited to see what's inside of the main box. Yee! Unbox with me guys! They also give us free soil and spinach seeds. That's really nice of them guys. And this is what it looks like everyone. And of course, let's not forget the freebies. I love freebies. So what you'll see in the box is the instruction manual, the spray bottle, and the fruiting bag. And also, there's a cutting knife but I didn't see it. Hi guys! I'm back. Um, we're done. So step two, wait for three to five days before cutting the box. This will allow the mushroom to settle before fruiting. So we're done waiting and now we are in step 3. Remove the fruiting bag out of the box and soak to a cold water for 2-3 to three minutes. Do not remove the plastic. Eee, I'm so excited about this. I'm just waiting for Josh to finish playing games. And he really wants to be involved because this is his favorite. I don't know. <laughs> he just likes mushrooms. By the way, this is the cutting knife that I told you about. I didn't see it when I was unboxing. This is the step 3 guys. We use the pail instead because the sink is leaking. So 3 minutes is up. It's time to dry the fruiting bag. We're using a clean towel for this guys, huh? This step is easy. You just need to be careful. Cut a rectangle shape on the box. That's the area where the mushroom will grow. And it's done. We can put the fruiting bag now. Now we are cutting an X into the fruiting bag. That's a nice X, lol. <laughs> In this step, we need to scratch the top white layer of the mushroom substrate. And it's done, guys. We just need to mist it with cold water for 3 to 5 times a day. hi to my four days old mushroom guys they're really pretty and they grow really fast look at the baby mushrooms they are so cute so guys in my experience it's better if you harvest it on day four because if you wait till tomorrow it won't be as pretty as this for those who don't know this is what brown oysters looks like so we harvest it on day 5. We should have done it on day 4 yesterday. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not as pretty as yesterday. I don't know what happened but I think it should be better if we harvest it yesterday. By the way guys, when we were harvesting, I didn't notice that the camera isn't rolling so it didn't record on how we did it. But I'll make a second batch of mushrooms for you guys. After harvesting, we soak the fruiting bag for 6 hours and then we scrape the top white layer with fork. And after a few days of waiting, we now have our second batch of mushroom. This one is in its fourth day and we are harvesting it now. When harvesting, just twist and pull the whole mushroom. Make sure not to leave the roots or immature mushrooms to prevent rot and contamination. And now it's done. You can go mushroom at home. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye! -ers.